As CU Boulder students prepare to head home for Thanksgiving, the school is now on fully remote learning until next semester. CBS4's Rick Salinger joins us from Boulder, where students are taking steps so that they don't take the virus home with them. Rick? Well, Karen, this has been a semester that has seen the virus spread through parting, followed by lockdowns and discipline. Now the goal is to get the students home without infecting their families. Nicole Ventimiglia and Tetra Boyd are preparing to head to San Francisco for Thanksgiving. But before that, they have to take an exam, and it's not for class. I'm taking a COVID test before I leave, and then I'm flying home on Friday, and I'm just seeing my parents for the first two weeks I'm home. All on campus are being urged, not ordered, to go to a COVID testing station 48 to 72 hours before leaving. Gavin Muse is hoping to return to Orange County, California. Yeah, I'm just getting a test because I don't want to bring it back to my family. And if I test negative, then I'm just going to head back. The campus is now on orange or safer at home mode. 40 students are currently in isolation. They will only be allowed to travel home by private car, not plane, bus, or train. Others are preparing to be careful. Less people, less contact. Uh, of course, like uh, due to COVID situations. This is the first day of fully remote learning. That will last until the semester ends. I like being here because I have people around me who are in similar classes, so it helps me focus. And there won't be much football on campus for now. This Saturday's game here has been put off due to COVID problems with the Arizona State team. The students won't be back here until January at the earliest. Thanksgiving is usually a combination of football and turkey. This year, both will be difficult to pull off. Live in Boulder, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.